Hello, dear AI enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into something absolutely groundbreaking. OpenAI's latest announcement that's shaking up the entire AI industry. What I'm about to share will blow your mind. And I need you to really pay attention because this could be the most significant development in artificial intelligence we've seen in decades. Before we jump in, let me be crystal clear. This isn't clickbait. I know there's a lot of hype in the AI space right now, and many people make bold claims. But what we're seeing today is potentially the biggest breakthrough in AI history. OpenAI has just unveiled O3, and the evidence suggesting we've achieved AGI, artificial general intelligence, is stronger than ever before. This isn't just another incremental improvement. This is something fundamentally different. You might be wondering why O3 and not O2? Well, here's an interesting bit of corporate naming drama. OpenAI had to skip O2 because of a telecom company named O2. Classic OpenAI move, right? They're notorious for their unique naming conventions, and this time they had to work around trademark issues. But don't let the name fool you. What matters is what's under the hood. Let's dive deep into the capabilities of O3. And I'm going to break this down in a way that shows you just how revolutionary this system really is. OpenAI actually released two models today. O3 and O3 Mini. While we can't get our hands on them just yet, the benchmarks are absolutely insane. We're talking about numbers that seemed impossible just months ago, and I'm going to walk you through exactly why these results are so significant. And first up, let's talk about coding capabilities. This is where things get really interesting. And even as someone who's been in the AI space for years, these results surprised me. On the Sweetbench Verified Benchmark, which tests real-world coding tasks, not just simple programming exercises, but actual practical coding challenges, O3 achieved a stunning 71.7% accuracy. To put this in perspective, that's a 20% improvement over O1. But hold on because it gets even better, and I mean significantly better. In competitive programming, which is essentially the Olympics of coding, O3 achieved an LO rating of 2727. Now let me put this in context for you. Mark, OpenAI's head of research and a competitive programmer himself, has a personal best of around 2500. Yes, you heard that correctly. O3 is outperforming OpenAI's own head of research. This isn't just about writing simple scripts anymore. We're talking about solving complex algorithmic problems that challenge even the best human programmers. But coding is just the beginning and what comes next is even more impressive. Let's talk about mathematics, specifically the kind of math that most people would find incredibly challenging. On competition math benchmarks, O3 scored an almost perfect 96.7%. That's not just impressive, it's unprecedented. These are the kinds of problems that would appear in mathematical Olympiads, problems that challenge the brightest young mathematicians in the world. And when it comes to PhD level science questions, O3 scored 87.7%, which is about 10 percentage points higher than O1. Think about that. We're talking about questions that test the limits of human knowledge in various scientific fields. This next part is crucial, and I need you to really understand the implications here. These achievements aren't just random benchmarks or isolated test results. They're indicators of something much bigger and much more significant. When an AI system can perform at this level in both mathematics and science, it opens the door to something truly revolutionary, self-improvement and automated AI research. Imagine millions of O3 instances working simultaneously to improve themselves, each one building on the discoveries and improvements of the others. The implications are staggering, and we're just beginning to understand what this might mean for the future of artificial intelligence and human society as a whole. Hey. Now, let me tell you about what I consider the most impressive achievement, the ARC Prize Challenge. This has been the holy grail of AI benchmarks for the past five years, and for good reason. It's designed to test true intelligence, not just pattern matching or memorization, but actual understanding and reasoning. The benchmark is deceptively simple, which makes the results even more impressive. You're shown patterns and need to figure out the rules behind them. Humans find it relatively easy because we're naturally good at this kind of abstract reasoning, but AI systems have struggled massively with these tasks, at least until now. O3 didn't just beat the previous record, it completely obliterated it. With standard computing power, it achieved 75.7% .7 accuracy, which would already be impressive. But when they allowed it to think longer, it hit 87.5%. To put this in perspective, human performance averages around 85%. Yes, you're understanding this correctly. O3 is outperforming humans on a test specifically designed to measure general intelligence. This isn't just about crunching numbers or processing data anymore. This is about genuine problem-solving ability. And here's something that makes this even more remarkable. 
OpenAI didn't specifically train O3 for the ARC challenge. This wasn't a case of creating a specialized system just to win this particular benchmark. This was just its natural performance, its ability to tackle previously unseen problems and figure them out through genuine reasoning. This is crucial because it shows real intelligence rather than specialized training or optimization for a specific task. Let's talk about O3 Mini because this is equally exciting in its own way. Think of it as O3's smaller, faster sibling. While it might not reach the same peak performance as O3, it's still outperforming O1 in many areas, and it does so at a fraction of the cost and speed. This is crucial for practical applications because it means we can deploy this technology more widely and more efficiently. O3 Mini comes with three different thinking time settings, low, medium, and high. This is a game changer for practical applications because it means you can adjust the model's performance based on your specific needs. Need a quick response for a simple task? Use the low setting. Working on a complex problem that requires deep thinking. Crank it up to high. This kind of flexibility makes it incredibly valuable for real-world applications. The demo they showed was absolutely mind-blowing, and I mean that literally. They had O3 Mini create a code generator and executor complete with a UI all in real time. But here's the really impressive part. It even evaluated itself on complex benchmarks. We're watching AI systems that can not only solve problems, but can also create tools to solve more problems. This kind of meta-level capability is exactly what we've been waiting for in the development of artificial intelligence. And so why am I calling this AGI? Let's break this down systematically. First, it's outperforming human experts in multiple domains, not just one narrow field, but across different areas of expertise. Second, it's showing genuine reasoning abilities, not just pattern matching or memorization. Third, it can learn and apply new concepts on the fly without specific training for each task. And fourth, it's demonstrating capabilities that match or exceed human performance across various benchmarks. When you put all of these pieces together, what you're looking at is something that's getting very close to, if not actually achieving, artificial general intelligence. I, I want to address some potential concerns and skepticism because that's important in any scientific discussion. Yes, these are still controlled tests. Yes, there's more work to be done, but the level of general problem-solving ability we're seeing here is unprecedented. The ability to transfer learning from one domain to another, to reason about new problems, and to perform at or above human level across multiple domains. These are exactly the kinds of capabilities we've been looking for in AGI. Now, I want to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think we've reached AGI? Is this the breakthrough we've been waiting for? Drop your opinions in the comments below. Let's have a real discussion about this. Your perspective matters, and I'm genuinely interested in hearing what you think about these developments. While we can't access O3 or O3 Mini just yet, OpenAI is opening up access for safety testing. If you're a security researcher or work in AI safety, you can apply through their website until January 10th. This is crucial because with great power comes great responsibility, and we need to ensure these systems are safe and reliable before they're widely deployed. The implications of this breakthrough are enormous, and we're just scratching the surface. I'll be diving deeper into specific aspects in future videos because there's so much more to explore and understand about these developments. The future of AI is happening right now, and it's more exciting than we could have imagined. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload our next video. I hope to see you next time. Stay real.